I am out here in a town that refers to itself as the middle of nowhere. Sentinel, Arizona. It's about halfway between Yuma and Phoenix on the interstate, which is just over here. So let's head to the west towards the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. We'll do a little back roads exploring and we'll have ourselves a, a fine desert camping evening tonight. Stick around. We're gonna go in and see if we can get some good food for tonight. It's always nice to hit a proper grocery store before a, a trip into the back country. All right, let's see if we can get out of here and get ourselves out into the desert for real. I mean, we're in the desert, but you wouldn't know it right here. But that's going to change real soon. And that's one of the things that I love about this kind of motorcycling is you can be in the thick of it and then in a relatively short time be out in the middle of nowhere. And we're going to head north on Highway 95 up into the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Well, here we go into the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. It's up ahead in these mountains. One of the most sparsely inhabited places in the entire country. Thousands and thousands of square miles of raw wilderness with no permanent inhabitants, except for bighorn sheep and mule deer and road runners and cactus and coyotes and all of our friends. The Kofa National Wildlife Refuge is very remote. The area itself is comprised of several thousands of acres of wilderness and then it's also surrounded by other wilderness areas including BLM and some government uh, Yuma proving grounds for like missile testing and things like that. I just passed a sign saying that we've now entered the Yuma proving grounds. No stopping, standing, parking or camping for the next five miles. Off to the right it says warning government property no trespassing. Over here, restricted area warning, no photography, prohibited photographing of mining, notes, drawings, maps, or graphic representations of this area. This is a remote part of the country. It's probably one of the more remote parts of the country in the sense that there's almost no permanent residents that live in a 6,000 square mile area. So we're gonna get out into some remote country today have a good old-fashioned motorcycle camp out in the desert I think I'm running 70 30 tires right now I looked at the tread pattern and they are not very blocky or chunky or aggressive and I probably still got some pretty heavy-duty street pressure on so just mindful of that but uh, you know roads like this it's not a problem this is just an easy gravel road and to be honest, that's mostly just what I'm looking for out here. I'm not looking for a big challenge since I'm on a, a very heavily loaded bike and I'm all by myself. I want to keep things simple. There's some signs here welcoming us to the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. So we're heading up in this direction up here. That's kind of where I'm aiming for right now. We'll see what happens. 
I've got some routes and some tracks, but other than that, I don't really know where I'm going. We're just going to find a place to camp out in the desert tonight and build a little fire and cook some dinner. I lowered the PSI in my tires a little bit. I went down to about 30 in the back and, I don't know, 25 in the front. It'll soften out these roads a little bit. Some RVers camped out here with their quads. Overlander camped out here on the left with his motorcycle. Yeah, nice little scene. Yeah, lowering the tire pressure really smoothed this out quite a bit. We just turned off the road onto Big Eye Mine Road. It's a little more narrow here and a little more texture. Yeah, these tires don't have quite the off-road performance. I can feel them slipping a little bit, especially when I give it the gas. and just have to be a little more careful. But lowering the TP really helped. All right, here we go. We're getting into the mountains. Kadoom. The old telelever suspension. Some big saguaro cacti. And I tell you what, just about anywhere that I find a place to camp out here is going to be pretty awesome. And the farther we get back on roads like these, the less likely we'll see anyone else. My van would do an awesome job on this road, although it would be fairly slow going. It would be like a washing machine inside the van. Well, this looks like a fine place to spend the night, right here. Big panoramic view of the desert, mountains in the background. We've got a nearly full moon. It should be a really nice night. I'm going to get this campsite set up really quick before the sun goes down. I stopped riding. It's about 5.30, and I know that it starts to get dark pretty quickly when the sun gets to this point in the horizon, so I want to get some firewood gathered up get my tent set up and get a nice camp set up here. There's very little chance of rain tonight, I think, but I'm setting up the tent more to be warm. It does get cold out here in the desert at nighttime. In fact, it could be about in the 30s. in a second because we're going to go get some wood. Well, the sun is just about ready to go down behind the hills over there. I've got camp all set up. It's gonna get dark soon, but I've got a fire going. I'm gonna have a glass of wine right now, relax for a bit, and then get some dinner going.
not bad. Well, I really hope that you've enjoyed this motorcycle adventure into the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and come back for more. We'll see you down the road.